What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another core set draft. I'm not sure how many core set drafts we're going to do. I know we have, uh, usually when we do vintage cubes or whatever, it's like we're going to have to 30, 40 drafts uh, for the season or whatever. But um, <clears throat> I don't know if this core set's sticking with me. I don't know if, I, I don't know if I'm feeling it. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I feel like a 3-0 could really rejuvenate us, but, you know. <clears throat> I don't think it was a cover. I think it was actually just a song that's extremely reminiscent of the 80s, so it just sounds like a cover. <clears throat> I think it just sounds so 80s like that you're like, I swear I've heard this song before. And it does sound like, I need a hero. I thought it was the I Need a Hero song. <laughs> Otherwise known as I Need a Hero. <clears throat> Ooh, Drawn from Dreams. Oh, that seems great. I like, a, ooh, Unlimited. I like a Dig Through Time Unlimited. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm going to take it. I don't think anything else in this pack is really good. Scuttlebutt's good. Woodland Champion might be good. I don't know how many how, how consistent you can make tokens in this format. Griffin Protector and Rabbit Bite are fine. Maybe this Metropolis Sprite comes back. Either way. I wish it was an instant, but I could understand why it's not an instant, too. Being able to do this EOT uh, when, like, Jace's Ingenuity costs five and this costs one less and you get to look at seven cards, like, I I, I understand. I get why it's not an incident. I need a hero. Might of the masses, Boreal Elemental. Seems all right. I like a Boreal Elemental. I don't think there's any reason to go into other colors here. Agonizing, Agonizing Siphon is good. Netcaster Spider's fine. But there's a 3-4 flyer for 5 that it's harder to kill. So, <clears throat> What are you doing in my queue? How dare you? Where are you? Oh, here you are. You're like you're like way opposite of me. So we're not even going to we're not even going to influence each other. So that's okay. That's okay. For real elemental. I like it. Oh, I like a, to a tome bound. I was going to call him time bound lich. Metropolis Sprite also good. Is this guy worth going into? I mean, it loots. That <laughs> lich has very little time. Yeah, he's a time-bound lich. Sorry, buddy. Also, reduced to ashes, rabid bite. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's tone-bound lich, even though Metropolis Sprite does keep us on color. I'm okay with being. But now I, now I see Rapacious Dragon, and I'm like, but wait. I think Spectral Sailor's <clears throat> pretty good probably fine with taking a spectral sailor as a 1-1 flyer it's not great but as a card draw engine it's pretty good plus this guy has death touch and lifelink i don't know if you guys know but those are very powerful wizards and limited yarox fenlurker again do we just take Bone Dash? Is Bone Dash better in this format than I think it is? Yeah, I like Fenlurker too. Fenlurker was good last game. I mean, it pumps. Like, if you can get, like, two pumps out of it, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Anything over two... Ooh, Legion's End? Mm, that's probably not super relevant. Bone Splinter is probably a little better. 
<clears throat> yeah, we'll take the Bone Splinters. Blade Brand is like the only card in our color here, but this pack's not super strong anyway, so. Okay, and now we're just <clears throat> Thunderkin Awakener. Interesting. I don't think that guy's worth anything. It's like a dollar. I'll just take Soul Salvage, I think. <coughs> yeah, isn't Spark Harvest just a better Bone Splinters? <clears throat> oh, Metropolis Sprite does come back? Yes, please. Epicure of Blood? It's a 4-4. Four, four. Relevant with Time Bound Lich. I'm just going to call him Time Bound from now on. Hmm. Yeah, Befuddle is fine, I guess. Fortress Crab. <clears throat> I actually don't hate the crab because you can just sit there and block behind it. Yeah, I'll take a crab. This could be a crab deck. Good old TBL. <laughs> oh, we're talking about talking about the time bound lich again. <clears throat> I don't think killing planeswalkers is like out of flavor for. I just I think to, you just make Spark Harvest new bone splinters. Like I don't know, as someone who just lost to a Chandra Awakened, like. On color. On color land, so you can tell we're in the right colors. Oh my god, Bouviac. Wow, that was, that was, that's a throwback right there. I think all of these are pretty playable. Steel Overseer. Gruesome Scur Scourger. 3-3, when it enters the battlefield, it deals damage to target opponent or planes or with the more creatures you can draw. Okay, so doesn't seem great. For five, I just sort of have a 3-4 flyer. Is Steel Overseer good? We have Salvager of Ruin. TBS, Throwback Saturday. Yeah, that's a thing we just made up right now. The cry wasn't for you. It's for Tress. Wow, you guys are on point today. Yeah, I might just take the Overseer and try to maybe pick up a few artifact creatures. I think the upside on the Overseer is better than just having another Boreal Elemental. When we can probably get another one at some point anyway. This is not the artifact we're looking for. We will take Agonizing Symphony. That is solid removal. Sleep Paralysis. Is Sleep Paralysis better than Agonizing Symphony? So we're saying Paralysis is better. I mean, this deals with any creature, right? Like, if they have a 7-7, seven, seven, we get to deal with it. If they have a... Th this only kills three threes. Oh, I agree with this playable by itself, but I'd still like to make it better, right? Alright, I'll take this guy. Uh, you know the top card, you may cast a uh, top card if it's an artifact. Mm. Vengeful Warchief has uh, has been pretty decent every time I've played him. He kind of gets out of hand. <clears throat> oh, Audacious Thief. One of my favorite thieves in the multiverse. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind picking up one of these Blood for Bones eventually, but I'm okay with just taking a Thief here. It is half a Smiting Helix. That is true. It's a Smiting Helix without flashback.
Can I say something important? Not do it. Say something important. I'm here for it. Blood Boogler. Yeah, this guy's fine. I do like a good two drop. Is Audacious Thief the best thief in the multiverse? Oh, that's a good question. <clears throat> he is. He is. Is he audacious enough to claim that title? Warden of Evos Isle is great. I will gladly take a two-two flyer for three that has an upside. Eh. Anvil Rot Raptor. This might be the one deck where I play him with the Steel Overseer. I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to try it out. We're going to live that Anvil Raptor dream. I'm going to take this Blight Beetle for sure. I'll board that in if I need it. Eh, this guy's playable. Negate? Oh, maybe it's main deckable. Maybe negate. See, this deck seems great. I don't care about Gollum. I think Gollum is straight worse than any of these other flyers. Or any of these other five drops. But over... Yeah, I don't even care. I don't even care about your stupid overseer. Oh, I wanted this Boneclad Necromancer to begin with. Now we got it. Is that better than Epicure? Is a 3-3 and a 2-2 better than a 4-4 that potentially pings them? I don't know. A 4-4 attacks better... A 3 3 and a 2 2 definitely block better. We could also steal like undead necromancers from their grave. Undead, uh. Gravy boys. I don't know what that. <clears throat> arisen undead. Ar arisen undead? Undead. Ar I don't know what the freak that card's called, man. I'm trying. I'm trying here, guys. I'm trying. I'm just going to take this another negate. Filled Sea Serpent. Grave Servants? Is that what they're called? That seems crazy. Just stop it. I wonder if Zephyr Charge is good. Like, we can put it on our Audacious Thief. Like, put, put it. I mean, we can activate it and give Thief Flying. We can give Blood Burglar Flying to make sure we get in the life. Like, it doesn't seem terrible. All right, well, I guess we'll try it. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We still have a whole pack left. I feel like we could just play like now. We could just add Zephyr Charge and like Frilled Sea Serpent if we need to. Well, that guy's interesting. Unfortunately, we cannot splash a Johnny. I think we probably just want the murder. God, I feel really... <clears throat> it feels weird taking murder over a Johnny when it's a mythic planeswalker. Johnny's only worth like three tickets. I'm not... Not super all about it. However, someone's got a nice little treat. Portal of Sanctuary. Return a creature you control and each aura attached to it to its owner's hand. Activated only during your turn. Hmm. We don't have any enters the battlefield abilities, really. We have Boneclad Necromancer and Yarov's Fencaller, I think. I mean, technically we could return this and replay it, but I, it's it's kind of meh. I just want another Blood Burglar, maybe. This pack's pretty meh, though. Maybe we just take it. As a cat, a Johnny probably does not like getting wet. That's probably true. <clears throat> I think it's just Blood Burglar. Bone Splinters, number dose. I'll probably just take that. Maybe we just play Anvil Raw Raptor number two just because of Steel Overseer, but I don't want to I don't want to lean on Steel Overseer. I think Bone Splinters is probably better here. 
Oh, also we hit, we had a swamp in the second pack, so the two lands we picked up on color. Bloodthirsty Aerialist is gas. This card is great. Even if it's just a 2-3 flyer for 3, I think it's fantastic. But, like, we have Double Blood Burglar. We have uh, Tonebound Lich with Lifelink. Yeah. I'm on board. Maybe... Oh, wait. I almost took that one. Maybe the uh, Vampire of the Moon comes back as well. <clears throat> Warden... I don't think it's one of the six drops here. I think I just want the other flyer. It also makes Anvil Rot Raptor cost less. Check out this dude. Do we just want the Mine Rot for the sideboard? What are our cuts here? I mean, I don't even know if we're playing Salvager of Ruin. Probably cut this guy. Yeah, Mine Rot's actually been pretty decent for us in this format. Oh, Sleep Paralysis? That's a main, that's a main decker. Can probably put Negate over here for now. Put the Blade Brand over here. And I actually think this configuration so far is pretty okay. <clears throat> Undead Servant. What did you guys say? Grave Servant? Was that what you guys were on? Grave Servant, yeah. Undead Servant. Close. Very close. I'm just going to take the duress here, I think. Not in. I don't think Sanitarium Skeleton's great. It's fine with Tomebound Lich if we're like discarding and, and looting. Does it do anything else? I don't think there's any other synergies we have with it, though. Oh, we have Bone Splinters. Yeah, that seems good, actually. I'm okay with that. I'll take the Wand, I guess. I don't think we're going to play either of these. We already have... Do we have two Negates or just one? We just have one, but I still think that's... I still think that's enough. Marauder's Axe. Not to be confused with Murderer's Axe, which is... Anyone know who isn't eating Keebler fudge sticks fresh out of the refrigerator isn't eating them properly? Prove me wrong. I can't prove you wrong. Because there's no proper way to eat them, right? There's no, like, there's no there's no official Keebler suggestion that would, like, be like, oh, well, Keebler says. However, that being the case, I think you're still probably eating them correctly. <clears throat> All right, we got to make one cut. Keebler says you need to pronounce it Orshav. Orshav. Yeah, I can do that. We can do it. I'm probably going to take the Salvager of Ruin out. This card's probably meh. Plus, you already have 17 creatures. That's a lot, dude. We can do an 8 9 -er. Cut Salvage of Ruin? We have 17 creatures. I can get two creatures. Draw two. Come on. Come on. Get it together. I would also cut a mountain. I'll keep this. Oh, Black Source is great, but we also have enough to play both of our blue cards here, so. Ideally, we hit a Black Source. Kitty Cat's in here again. Why are we Swamp. Oh my god, how do we do it? How do we do it? Hey, what are you doing? Get out of there. You little weirdo. Don't be a little weirdo. Let's get this bread. <laughs> Alright, well. We're living the dream. They always have that guy for this guy. It's unbelievable. I can't even, I can't even handle it. Uh, 
Does your cat have a masochistic relationship with a sadistic mouse like I have seen in the cartoons? No, there's no mice here. Considering we have three lands in hand, usually I'd wait to play this. Wow. But considering we have three lands in hand, I'm just going to play it. And we get to put four swamps on the bottom. Let's keep that in mind. Where's my chat? Show the chat and show the game log. It's weird that it does this randomly sometimes. Four swamp. Uh, we're definitely taking Boreal Elemental. It's, we probably want the Boneclad Necromancer as well. The keep the Keebler Elves. Hey Frank, we heard you didn't know that it is official Keebler doctrine at, to eat Keebler fudge sticks fresh out of the refrigerator. In a world of fake news, please do your best to spread the word. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Keebler. Nope. Let's go to the blocky boys. Well, looks like those blocky boys are at it again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four, four lands on the bottom is nice. <clears throat> What's up, Kadeen? Okay, okay. Here comes... Well, I guess they can't Chandra's Outrage. I don't think there's actually a spell they can cast on this guy that would kill it. Like, you have to cast two spells, and I think the mana... I mean, I guess you, could, you can't even Shock Shock. They can't even Shock Shock. That's pretty good. Look at this. is a combo. That's a little combo move that they did there. Yes. Uh, one, two, three. That seems bad. <laughs> Not ideal. Not ideal. They have three cards, we have three cards. We played Drawn from Dreams. That seems like it should have pulled us ahead here, but... Okay. Okay. Let's make this guy unblockable. Make that guy unblockable. Well, I guess you're getting in two damage either way, but doing it this way... Uh, you get to keep your flying blockers. Don't be a land. It's not a land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are one shy of doing it all. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm actually okay with this. That trade is dece. One, two, three, warden. Two, three, Rappy Boy. We have Lich in our deck, which lets us loot, so I want to keep the island in hand in case we draw it. Unsummon. Unimpressive is more like it, am I right? <laughs> That's actually fine. I'm okay with it. Thank you. Mangar, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Keebler Lawyer. 
Were those damn Keebler's elves just here? They no longer represent the Keebler Corporation and its shareholders. Keebler wholly disagrees with any with eating any of the delicious products directly from the fridge. Attempts to do so indemnifies the Keebler Corp. Wow. I had no idea. Man. Keebler cookies are a big deal. <laughs> so, we have Lich in our deck, so we want to keep a land in hand. He says right before drawing. Time-bound Lich. It's tome-bound, Frank. Don't you know about the tome? You know, I don't. I don't know about it. I get to draw a card here? Good lord. And if they want to trade for Warden, this is just a 2 2, so. Yep. I feel like our board is pretty good here. I'm okay with that. Sleep paralysis on Litchie Boy. This is always nice because I'm just like, I don't know, Bone Splinters. And I heard the Keeler Elves are forced out of the company after Bent Cookie Gate. <laughs> wow. Bent Cookie Gate. That just sounds terrible. Steel Overseer. Island. Interesting. I think we're way ahead here. That is a solid that is a solid card. I don't know if it gets you out of this situation though. Although double blue cards put this guy real big. I mean we'll hundred percent block if they attack. It's a yikes for me, dog. Yeah, I don't really feel like going to five here, so. We still have pretty solid board presence, especially with Sorcerer in hand. No blocks? Aggressive. You should do a co-stream with Bernie Sanders now that he's on Twitch. I would I'll I'll I would love to. Why are you always drafting the black cards? I feel like black is one of the weaker colors in the format. If you draft a color like white, uh everyone gets healed. And that's really what we want. When you're drafting core sets 2020. Shut up and take my money. Oh, the key loves. The Keebler Elves, you blood-sucking lawyers and the shareholders you represent, can cram it. We know better than anyone how our cookies should be eaten, and the ancient Keebler Elves doctrine could not be more clear. Frank, don't give in to this corporation, this corporate intimidation. Wow. Wow, that's... Whew. This is getting a lot. There's a lot of pressure, guys. What colors are they playing? Red, blue? All right. I'm just going to submit like this. I think our deck is fine. I will keep this hand.
Didn't even see your silly pun on Twitch or has a Twitch. That's not even. That's not. That's ageist, Black Cross. That's ageist. Also worth noting that uh, uh, around that time, Days AB got real upset when I impersonated Saffron Olive, like super upset. I just impersonated Bernie, and like I love Bernie Sanders. This is aggressive. They're being very aggressive right now. You're gonna unsummon this and attack? Wow. <whistles> so it makes a 1 1, right? Uh, it's a mortar pod, right? Okay. Mortar pod. This is an aggressive start. So this is make one one a quick turn second to the one. Okay, so it's literally just mortar pod. Just making sure. We got a ten here. I guess we're playing two guys though, right? So that's pretty all right. Steel overseer one two three. Play warden and sorcerer. They have no cards in hand? Okay. Okay. Interesting. Block here. Ooh, Tommy boy. Oh, Tommy boy. That's a good hit. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. I feel like we're stabilizing here, but it depends on what they draw, I guess. Wouldn't you just have to cook your own chicken at Socialist Fried Chicken? Okay, you're dealing one to that guy. Sounds good. Did you draw shock? Or are you really going to three for one? Oh my god. Oh boy. Well, you're committed now. How have you had little man? Um, like seven years. They changed their mind. They're like, I'll sack this Ember Cat instead. Wow, that was a lot. That was a three for one. Technically a four for one, because what we discarded was a sanitarium. A Sani boy. I want to hit a land here, so I want to actually attack with this guy. We did not. Oh, wow. Double Blood Burglar seems very good in this position. Main. And we did it. Yep, you got it. Mono Blood Burglar. I mean, they should have at least equipped, right? Thunder is happening. We're getting, we're getting some thunder action. 
that's fine. Back to 10. One, two, three, soul salvage, get back tome bound, and audacious thief. What? Oh my god. Wow. Well, we kept this because we wanted to, uh, because we wanted to discard it. So I don't think that's a misplay. Like, playing around convolutes, not. They have no cards in hand. I'd rather just kill this guy now because we can't get through if we don't kill this guy. So they have conceded from the game. We just killed a Mike. Feels bad, man. But do they say something? Oh, I hate that the chat goes away because then I feel bad. There are too many mics not to kill one now and again. I rank used to listen to you guys on Freshly Brewed from start from its start and finally caught one of your streams. Just want to say thank you for like Tiger Dilly, thank you so much for the for saying so. Really appreciate it. Ugh. I mean if we draw a black source or any two lands is great. But if we don't draw the two lands pretty bad i'm gonna risk it for the biscuit no guts no glory my friends this hand i don't think this hand is poop i think this hand is one land away from being just fine we can play two things and two lands away from being great Come on, land. Oh, dang it. We're so greedy. So, I mean, I'll take an island. Steal Overseer. It's totally fine. I mean, I'd rather have an island than no land. Steal Overseer into Anvil Rot, Anvil Rot Raptor is just great. And now any land lets us play this guy. Black lets us play both either of these. Probably Tomebound Lich would be great here. Considering they're blue-green, they might not have an easy way to deal with this. I guess they could Rabid Bite. Or they could... Uh, that does not do it. I mean, it's a playable card. I guess that's a thing, right? <laughs> Gotta take what you can get, I guess. This is a lot of, uh, it's a lot of gifts. I'm pretty sure I'm actually fine trading here. All right. 
Swamp off the top. One time. God, we're so good at this game. So we can play Warden, and even if we don't play another land, we can play Raptor next turn, which is actually pretty good. Got to take what you can get sometimes. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. You got to take what you can get sometimes. One, two, three, four. They have six mana? Seven mana, huh? And three cards. They could just have nothing. They could have just had a, uh, an overly heavy ramp hand. Uh, I'm actually not going to block this. Which maybe they're counting on. But, I mean, any pump spell and they kill our Warden, our Warden enables this guy. If we hit a land, Warden enables this guy, so. <sighs> okay. Another land. I think it's actually still just this guy, because we get to pump it into a 3-2. I don't really foresee us attacking here. Yeah, we could play Boreal. I just think this is better because it gets it gets this online faster. If we play this now and Boreal next turn, then we have... This is going to be four and this is going to be three, so we have seven power. If we play Boreal now and this next turn, we only have five... We'll have six power because we can activate this. So we're, we're maximizing the amount of power this guy has. Plus... <laughs> oh, boy. Scumbag city. Now we want another land off the top. Alright, we did it. Warden. Steely Boy. Okay. Well. So next turn we can play Raptor and Sorcerer. If we hit a land, we can play Lich as well. Alright, that's fine. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, they definitely didn't have enough pressure for... I'm actually going to block here because we can still cast this even if they end up killing our Warden. And I don't want them to keep getting free points if, you. if that's what's happening. Billy Ruben Delta, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Mick Welcomes. Oh, uh, let's loot. If it's going to be a land, we can just put it in the graveyard. Let's put the Sorcerer in the graveyard. Our hand is pretty stacked right now. They have one card. We have two cards in hand, a Drawn from Dreams, and an Artifact Engine on board. Hmm. Seems good. And the whole team just got sent back to the locker room with one bounce spell. And this card's good. This might be worth killing because they have a ton of mana to actually just draw an extra card every turn. Oh, they have no cards in hand. That's great. That's great. Five, six, seven mana. So we can actually play Drawn, keep Murder up. It's Murder. How much does this guy cost? One, two, three, four. We can actually play this and keep Murder up as well. Which might be better because it puts another puts another body on the board. Have you heard Franz Kafka, the transformation? Is his red line throughout the, the 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 transformation is his red line throughout the book? What does that mean? I have read I've have I've read Metamorphosis. Might as well do this now. Get the loot. Um, yeah, we can probably go to this. So now we can go murder on this guy and play Blood Burglar. And ideally, they just don't have planar cleansing like our previous opponents in previous drafts. All right. Oh, Arama, I get it. You're just saying weird stuff. 
All right. Well, that's the thing, I guess. Is that a Justin Timberlake link? Timberlink? A Justin Timberlink? Ha <laughs> ha! That's funnier than I than I thought it'd be. Okay, so we're just gonna get in there with these two. Oof, nice. I'm okay with it. Pump up the team. All right, well, 18, 19, our board is significantly better. We have very, very good ways to refill if they do have something crazy like a planar cleansing. That's a good one. We still have a Boreal Elemental though, so I ain't too worried. I mean, I'll easily take this trade. I'll trade a Warden for a Griffin Sentinel. I think I actually just want to draw a card here. And then we'll just play Audacious Thief. Like, we don't have any reason to commit more cards to the board, but if we hit a land, we might as well. The only card we're really playing around here is Planar Cleansing, which is rare and doesn't look like it's their main color anyway. It's triple white, so. I feel like we're way ahead here. I think we just alpha here and we just win, right? They block the biggest things, which are this, this, and this. They take five, but they lose their board. Do you remember? What? What is this? It sucks my ass. I remember. I remember. And they actually don't have the luxury of blocking here, right? Because then they take three, four, five, six. I guess they do. No, but then they can't block this guy, right? So they have to take six. They can block one flyer, so then they'd be dead if they didn't block the... They get to draw a card? Jesus. My god. This guy just can't block the 1-1. One, one. That's just how it works. Okay. So you're taking 3, 4, 5, 6. Sounds good. That guy's dead. Alright, so... Yeah, we have no incentive to put anything else on the board here, so... Do you think the picture was put on the card upside down on purpose? What card are we talking about? All right, we did it. Oh, the aerialist? Yeah, I was wondering that myself. I was like, this seems like it's upside down. She's an aerialist. I feel like, I wonder if this is actually an error. Hmm. An error realist, if you will. I I will. I'll give it to you. X gonna give it to you. I don't think we saw anything that I'm super. Yeah, she's an aerialist. I mean, like, yeah, you don't even need the flavor text to know she's an acrobat. Even her victims are awed by her performance. 
Yeah, plus the candles are upside down. I feel like they saw the head and they're like, well, you put the head this way. So they probably just looked at it the wrong way. And then they're just like, all right, this is how it goes, I guess. I can't find the art for it. So I found like a low res art. Um, so you have this. And if you flip it, it looks like that, which looks a lot better. This looks way more accurate. Yeah, this looks correct because you can see the legs going over the bar. You can see the candles. The candles look correct. Proportionally, this looks correct. This looks much better. Remember that time we actually kept that hand that had one land in it and we still crushed? That seemed good. Yeah, the upside down just looks fitting. Like, I feel like this is the correct way to look at Oh, wow, that was a good hit. I'm a fan. File a complaint, see if you get it. Hey, I'd like to, uh, I was doing my draft and everything was fine. Like, none of the matches were, there was no bugs or anything. But the Bloodthirsty Aerialist, the art seems to be upside down. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, it just ruined my entire draft experience. So, um, if you guys could, I don't know, fix that, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, it's pronounced Prismite. You got the accent on the E. Oh, we're drawing very well here. How about a one drop? How about a two drop? That has lifelink. No blocks. I feel like they're missing green here. Thank you. Beaston, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really, really appreciate it. You are awesome, my friend. Audacious Thief does seem really good. There's a lot of three toughness and three power creatures in the format. So if you can actually get past those, I think you're in good shape. But it's still a great card. Like, the card itself, outside of, uh, outside of you know, combat situations, specific combat situations, like, it's still just a very good card. I mean, this is a fine trade. It looks like they're stuck on green, so I'm, I'm happy to just trade this guy off and gain two in the process. Oh, they don't want to do that. They want to do some nonsense. You just want to do some nonsense, I see. They don't. They've changed their mind. They put their They put their nonsense on hold. They've changed their mind again. They're coming back. The nonsense is on the menu again. Plummet. Okay, that's fine. Yes. They have three cards. We're going to play on Audacious Thief, and we have Drawn from Dreams in hand. That's pretty good. Plummet on Spectral Sailor? I understand it. I don't think it's great. It, does, it can't feel great. You're just plummeting a 1-1. One, one. That's rude. But now we have Bone Splinters. Silver Linings, guys. We're just going to draw from Dreams next turn because we don't have anything else to do. And I think it's better to... I mean, if this was cheaper... Oh. um, Actually, maybe we just Soul Salvage these two. Yeah, that's probably better. I like that a lot. So that was a draw two, this is a draw two, this is an engine. This deck seems great. And we have an easy, like, Bone Splinter's just one mana removal spell at this point with the Audacious Thief tap down. Are we ready for the Bone to Ash? Should we have played around it? Possibly. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Hmm. 
Um, because we're under so little pressure, I kind of just want to... I kind of just want to draw a card and maybe hit a land. We did not, but it's still drawing a card, so... I mean, if we're just going to do a, uh, you know, 1-1 one, one on 1-1 one, one battle, I'm totally fine with that because ours draws us cards. So... Let's go Tonebound Lich. I do want to hit lands here. Yep. Now we can get rid of Steel Overseer. And then we can Bone Splinters this guy. They can guide you to the pond of dabbing on the opponent. That's all I want. I just want to get to that dabbing pond. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Imagine you do. This guy. None of our hand none of our none of these cards are bad. Um, I think Blood Burglar is worse than every card in this hand. Just waiting for the bone to ash. Nothing yet, huh? I feel like I've been so I've been so abused by bone to ash that I'm just like If you were an Oscar Armor, what would you like to be topped with? Um brown mustard, ketchup, and relish. Those are my go to toppings for hot dogs. Yep, that's pretty good. Who's feeling bad about getting rid of that bone splinters? This guy. I think we should have Agonizing Siphon, but I wanted to play something as well. I wanted to hit lands. This guy's got Death Touch, I guess. This is just a 5-5 just five, five flyer. How many ways do we have to deal with that guy? Probably like none, right? I don't think we have any. Did you ever play GP or Pro? I have a GP and a Pro Tour top eight. <laughs> so yes. Yes. Yes, I have. Uh, well. Can you speak up a little? I'm shredding documents. Huh. <laughs> Are you at work? On a Saturday? In this economy? I guess we actually attack with all three of these because Agonizing Siphon does does the deed. All right. I actually did not get gut shot in a PC top eight. I got gut shotted in one of my three winning ends to get into the top eight. How many F and M top eights? I mean, I can't compete with someone like Rob, for sure. So we can also win this race. Oh, whoa! Dankus Dags, welcome back, my dude. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Uh, yes, that was the LSV gut shot. The one and only. I can't imagine there was another. That'd be so awkward. Oh, all right. Wow, this is great. We're trading a Cavalier of Gales for an un a Tome Bound Lich. Unless they god, unless they god's willing, they always have the god's willing, don't they? It's the uncommon that I've that that everyone has. No, wow, oh. they didn't have it, dude. It's <laughs> when 
whenever like whenever I was like, hey, do you do you hate gut shots? Do you hate signing gut shots? I'm like, guys, I say this a lot because I get because it comes up a lot. I have no ill will towards gut shot whatsoever. I won ten thousand dollars with that pro tour. I top aided it. It was my first pro tour. I was king of the hill for almost the entire event, and uh, it locked me up for silver that year. I have no ill will towards gut shot. And it's also created one of the best magic moments. Like so many people are like that. That LSV, that you versus LSV match was one of my favorite matches I've ever watched. Um, I don't have a single problem with uh, with Luis with gut shot with that with that pro tour with anything surrounding that event. Everything there was just fantastic. So whenever someone's like, "Sorry to rub that in," I'm like, "I won ten thousand dollars. I'm good." What do you have ill will for? That's a good question. Not much. I hate to block there when my top two cards are duds. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Where did the other dude go? Uh, Cavalier, everything else dies. Oh, you shuffle and you scry too. I got you. Well, that's that is good. Well, we're just gonna have to keep attacking here. Four, five, six, seven. So we have enough for warden. All right. Do you feel ill roll for calendar balance? Um, not really. It hasn't affected me that much. Yeah, this is fine, I guess. These guys are huge and powerful, my, my dude. Oh, uh, what do we got? Three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight power on board. Dang, we're so close to lethal. Oh my god, what is happening? You just went Cavalier of Gales into Atem Atemsis all seeing into Mu, Ye Mu Yanling. Oh my god. I think we're like we're still ahead, right? Like we're still good. But like this is a pretty unreal sequence of events, man. Attack. I'm attacking all at move. If they have any removal spell for this guy, I don't want them to just make a... I can take a turn off to kill Moo. Moo. <laughs> Moo. God, these matches are unreal, dude. I'm just going to draw on from dreams here because we have nothing else to do. Um, Not... Aerialist and Warden, and we can actually not play anything. We can just draw a card. I mean, we're almost 2-0 here. I'm pretty okay with this situation. Did not play Magic for 20 years. Now getting back into the arena now because the stream is like, you're really enjoying Hey, Billy Ruben Delta, thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. Also, as this Billy Ruben Delta, if you're a subscriber, as a subscriber, um, definitely check out the subscriber Discord. Um, you can connect a Discord account and Twitch, and then you can join our subscriber Discord, and it's super sweet. There's a lot of uh, a lot of friendly people in there. So, our record so far is 1-0, and we're up a game in this match. So, oh, we had two murders in the deck, didn't we? That those were outs. For those, for these guys. I forgot about the two murders that we have. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. I don't, I'm just going to kill this. Reason being like, it blocks everything profitably. It blocks all three of these. So they block here, they take three, four, five, six. We're just going to put them to one. And uh, not play anything else and we'll see what happens. 
I can't get a bomb to stick. Yeah, I mean, I mean, much to my chagrin, I'm sure. Next person to name a breed of dog gets a subscription. <laughs> That's so strange, but I accept it. All right, we did it. Are we 2-0 again? All right, so we're actually redeeming ourselves. Yikes. 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 Oh, we're actually 4-0. We haven't lost a game yet. That's pretty good. Oh, boy. I need to go get food after this. Skeletal Cat, thank you so much for the gifted sub, buddy. Black Cross, welcome, welcome. Just beat Kenny the Pig in an almost exact mono red mirror. This is still M20 draft. Despite skipping my turn by accident and losing game one because of it. <laughs> That's a good time. Uh, snap keep. Oh, we should actually play Swamp. I forgot we have Yarov's Fen Crawler or whatever that stupid thing is. It's okay. N not punished. I think it's actually raining pretty heavily out there, which is pretty awkward because I really don't feel like going to get food in the rain. You're already subbed and dog is not a type of dog. Oh, wow. Another rare, huh? All right. Well, everybody's got the... This guy is not getting through, but we could actually... I guess we'll just play Warden. Warden has a lot of powerful draws that actually mean something, so... Like, we could draw Boreal Druid and get to cast it. We could play Anvil, Rot Raptor, and Sanitarium Skeleton. They could play Angel and gain 4 life and have a 4-4. Four, four. You know, all kinds of things could happen here. We could draw Murder, Blood Burglar. Not really the same. Like, we don't have any plan here, so we're just going to draw from Dreams to try to get a plan. Uh, Aerialist and Siphon seem like the best cards here. Spectral Sailor also seems pretty good. Hmm. Like, this card's an engine. But, like, how much time do we have? I'm going to take Aerialist and Agonizing Siphon. Aerialist also costs two, so if we draw another black, we can play Audacious Thief as well. We just have to get them down to, you know, below 25. Yep, no blocks for that. Maybe there's a murder on top. <laughs> oh, we're just playing against mono angels, I guess. You know, like you do. Hard to beat. Hard to beat. Hmm, boy. Let's hit a land. I feel like we had both of these the other day, but we just didn't have this, and uh, it did not work nearly as well. Yes, that was a great draw, actually. Uh, let's go to Skeleton. Aerialist. So now we can actually double block. It's not terrible. Some clever girl shenanigans with marauding raptor yet. Clever girl. All right, we'll see what we we'll see what happens. See what kind of blowouts are in store for us here. We can't really take eight. Like, I 
which is... Alright, so they just gain life in response. That's interesting. Alright, well, despite the fact that they have 37 life, I feel like we're actually not in terrible shape. This guy's likely going to get through. Fascinating. So we can pay three for this guy. Well, that seems good. Probably just going to pitch it if it's a land yet. That seems fine. One, two, three. Skelly. Skelly boy. Play Skelly boy. Kill that. Having Siphon and Blood Burglar in hand. I feel like it's pouring rain outside. I literally have no idea what the weather's like right now. It feels terrible. That's a yikes for me, dog. I mean, we're still blocking. I'm not going to take two and let you just... Har I'm not going to let you keep harassing me with this this flying spirit. It says light rain, but it sounds louder than light rain. Um... What? Fascinating. Let's kill you first. I feel like we're actually doing well here. I think we just go Blood Burglar Thief because next turn we can uh for we can next turn we can get rid of a blocker and draw a card, which which I like. Which father likes. They did not equip, which means they probably have a six mana bomb or they're going to play a land and play the seven mana angel, which everyone has. Epicure of Blood. Sure. Oh, that is awkward. Yep, just gonna pass here. Ideally, we draw murder. <laughs> yep, that's very good. That's a sweet combo. Okay. 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 Oh boy, that's what we're talking about. That's what father likes. Get that. Oh, they didn't respond. That's interesting. Don't be land. I asked you nicely. Seems fine. They said no. They were like, nah, man, I'm good. And I was like, okay. I understand.
They're at 37 life. <laughs> like, we're at 10. Uh, I asked my opponent to stop doing a thing, and then they continued to do said thing. I'm wondering if I could request compensation, please. Do we have any loot effects? I don't think so. I think the only thing we have is Tombbound Lich. So I, I'd almost rather play the land here, because if we draw another land next turn, it maximizing the things we can do is nice. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 9 mana, so we can return this guy and activate this guy. Okie dokie. Well, yeah, Soul Salvage doesn't Soul Salvage doesn't make us discard a card, so I'm not really worried about having an extra card in hand for Soul Salvage. I guess we can attack here. Okay, that's enough lands. Also, Yarok's, Yarok's Fen Lurker is another reason to... Oh, wow. Just gonna eat this guy. Alright, they have nothing on board. Yeah, again, 5, 6, and we have 9 mana, so... That's 3 pumps. 3. Unfortunately, yep, limited formats are kind of awkward because, like... If it's not cube, like you, you still have to. You have to. If there are thirty life, it takes. It's gonna take you like nineteen turns to actually deal with their shenanigans. But this guy was pr a pretty good draw. I think we actually should have attacked with this guy first, but there are no angels in the outfield. That's okay. What's up, danger? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're definitely attacking with Fenlarker here. <sighs> All right. That's fine. That's not bad. Well, that's a clock. That's a clock arena. Oh, if they every time they gain life, this guy gets bigger. Let's do that. So we take a point and this guy gets big. I'm tempted to watch Rookie of the Year. Do I watch or just end it all? Uh, I would actually go with, just watch The Sandlot instead. That's the superior baseball movie. I guess we found all the flyers in our deck. It's going to be a steel overseer on the top. You guys ready for that? Oh, they didn't gain a life. Interesting. True, but the Cub actually win in something in work of the year. They can't win anywhere else. Wow. I don't think it's incorrect. Yep, that's fine. Oh yes, trigger. Ha <laughs> 
Yep. Seems good. Oh my god, this is just ridiculous. That's so bad, dude. Because now they can actually start activating Soul Mender with no consequence. So we take one every turn. They have a 4-4 and a 3-3. Yeah, that's rough. I mean, we could have just traded with this guy, which would have been fine. Wow, Aerial Assault too. Seems good. Seems good. Of danger. I guess it doesn't matter, they're both gonna die, so. I don't think we have anything great here that we can even draw. Like, I don't know if I'd consider that great, but. Definitely losing to Epicure of Blood here, which is really awkward. Not to be confused with Epicurve of Blood, I don't know what that is. Sure. I think we have two murders. I, unless that was last deck. I don't know, we've had a lot of murders in the past two decks, so. I know we have one. This card's not even good. Maybe it's better than I thought it was. I mean, this feels like I just bring in frilled sea serpents because they can't. Oh, that was a good. That's good. That's pretty okay. Yeah, I guess it's all right with the bow. I mean... Uh, what are we getting back? What would we hate that if we got back? I'd actually do Corpse Knight, Bishop. Probably Corpse Knight, I guess. Probably Epic Cure of Blood. Yes. Sanitarium boy. Sanny boy. I mean, we have time. Presumably. If they keep playing lands, I have to assume their last card is a land. Soul Salvage would be great here. We can get back Boreal Elemental and, like, uh, Tomebound Lich, discard this final land. Fenlurker is not terrible with this much mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, no attacks. Fascinating. Just gonna keep playing these things. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think Drawn put like two or three lands on the bottom. I think it was two. So 
So this is 12, 1 to what, 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there should be two lands in the next, like, four cards. Wow, a third Angel of Vitality. All right. Well, of course they win this race. Like, that's not even... That's not even a question. We have four turns. They have 14. So, like... But, I mean, I mean, we just have to draw something. It's not bad. Keep on coming... So they go to 16, but they take two. So they go to 14. Oh, actually, this angel doubles the life. So it's actually like they're just breaking even. God, that's so bad. Second corpse knight. Fantastic. <laughs> the old triple angel of vitality. Uncommon. Double corpse knight. Uncommon. Bishop of wings deck. Yep, that doesn't do it. Yep, so they go shoot us, take a point, shoot us, take a point, and any creature they play just kills us. Well, we tried. We gave it our best against the Angel Precon. Yep. Cool. Double Arius, Aerial Assault. Yeah, their deck is great. Their deck is great. Bring another Bone Splinters. kind of like Frilled Sea Summer just because it gets in there and it blocks everything. Sanitarium Skeleton was doing some work. I don't think it's good enough though. Actually, it's we have double. We added a bone splinters. It's probably great. I could see taking out the raptor and the steel overseer. Those guys seem kind of cute and slow. If we put it on the the soul mender, we just don't get around the two two flyer. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. I'm just going to assume they have 1-4 next turn. <sighs> oh, they did not. Well... actually 
Okay. I feel like they're just going to double block here, which is fine, because taking out the... Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, please. Okay. Wow, that was a that was a treat. The, ne never don't never don't have more. Is they never don't have more. Um. Well, that sucks because we have nothing to play this turn. Okay, so no blocks, huh? Sure, one, two, three. So they're gonna gain four. They're gaining two. It's four total, but we're taking taking them down six. So when you read people's comments, do you have specific voices for them in your head? Not really, because there's nothing entertaining about doing the voices in my head. The the entertaining part is when I do the voices IRL. Very aggressive, very aggressive. We're attacking because if they want to double block here, I'll gladly trade a soul mender for a blood baron. Blood burglar. Sure. Thank you. Backlight, welcome back. Chris, thanks so much. This re-upped since I was watching. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome back. Like, we're, we're really just trying to keep them off of 25 life because that's really the, the sweet spot. Oh, easily eat the Soul Mender. Easily. Yep, that is fine. Oh! Oh, I think they missed this. They actually could have gained life and literally just destroyed us. I'm pretty sure they missed that, though, because they didn't realize it was adding two instead of one. Yeah, I think we both missed it. I think it was just that's just a very subtle play. I've never heard Frank in real life. I watched the stream with the sound off. That's true. I, I think Chris and I is that Chris and I are actually good friends, and uh, you know we hung out a lot when I lived in Seattle. But you know we never, I never, I never said anything when we were when we were hanging out. I would always just you know nods, facial expressions, things like that. So Chris actually has no idea how I sound. <laughs> Okay, I feel like we're I feel like we're doing the thing. You guys in some kind of mime club? Uh oh, here we are. Here we are, planar cleansing boys. Planar cleansing time, boys. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh. Well that's something. Tiger Dilly, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, Mick Welcomes. 
I said, what's up, danger? Uh, I imagine they have another one, so no blocks here. I'd rather just gain the two life. We'll take three, four, five, six. We can go to 15 here. <laughs> and they did. They did have another one. Oof. Pump this guy. Oof. Could we've also just killed them? Probably, right? We deal six, then four, five, six. But this is good too, right? Because this goes to five, six, seven. Yeah, all right. All right. Actually, they have at least two soul menders. Maybe the bow is decent here. When are you applying to read audiobooks? Tuesday. Twesday. Several victory laps around a dying opponent is the real way to play Magic the Gathering. Maybe we take out Frilly Boy. He's a little fat. He's not fat, he's... Actually, is a Retributive Wand better dealing a damage to anything? It's a lot more expensive. Tempted to bring in Negate. Yeah, this is a keeper. I'd like to hit a black source, but well, I'm fine if we don't. Soul Mender. No Soul Mender. Oh, yeah, we did it. Guys, can I talk about living the dream? Oh, it's just a worse Soul Mender. Jesus. Okay. Oh no. So long, Yarov's Fen Yarox Fenlurker. We had a good run. No angel though. Oh, we also have Soul Salvage to get that dude back. All right, I'm on board with how this hand's looking so far. Oh shit. Oh wow, they just had twenty. Wait, oh, because it gains one more. Holy crap, that's good. Wow, that's good. Just give me a sanitarium skeleton off the top so I can sack it and kill this stupid idiot. Uh, no blocks. Well, that's not what I was looking for. I wish Bone Splinters was an instant. Then we can attack. And before blocks, we could Bone Splinters this. Man, you get the opponents that have uh, raised the alarm for, as sorcery speed. I have the opponents that uh, have triple angel of vitality after rare bishop of wings. So, similar but different. I almost like killing this more. They still got a 1-1. One, one. They still have a 1-4 that can block pretty much everything. He just did it twice, two turns in a row. Well, I mean, if he does it once, he's probably going to do it again. Like, if they do it once, they're already showing to you that they, they don't understand the strategy or the uh, the legality of playing it at instant speed, right? So it makes sense that they did it again. <sighs> it 
Yeah, it's probably just a little Tefri issue. Or they're like, well, we couldn't cast it at instant speed anyway. Huh. Board full of dirtles. Dot deck. All right, well. I was really hoping you wouldn't have that guy. I guess Vengeful War Chief's a decent way to deal with it. West Virginia. Oh, they didn't do this in response. Oh, that's good for us. I'm a fan. This format is just mono thieves and burglars. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. You got it. This one little spirit going the distance. Well, that's fascinating. So one, two, three, four, five. We can actually do some damage here if we just get in with this guy. And we take out this guy. They also have no cards in hand. Swedmer is great if you haven't seen it. I've seen it twice. <laughs> so I'm I'm on the same page as you, good sir. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountains. Yep, had a feeling they'd block with this guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we're just gonna this is this is a fine order. Because I want to get this guy off the board and get this guy off the board. Which I think is worth it. The 1-4 is really hard to deal with for all of our board. I mean, it could be 2-2, could 1-2, be two, two, and 1-1 one, one as well and just leave the 1-2 or the 1-4. Which might be better because then these guys get through. Maybe we'll do that. This is whenever an angel dies, right? I mean, I'm not too worried about this guy because they only have one black source. So they're going to have to waste a turn getting it back. Whereas, like, the Corpse Knight actually blocks the Thief quite well. God, the 1 4 is really annoying, though. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the 1 4 and the 1 1. Yeah, that seems fine. This guy and this guy. Top Deck City. Come on, murder. One time. Good 
Could be anything. Blood Burglar, Borg Elemental, Sanitarium Skeleton, Spectral Sailor. Yikes. I mean, they're in top deck mode. What can we? We can take the Boreal Elemental, which is a fine blocker, and we can take the Spectral Sailor. It leaves us doing nothing this turn. And then Hard Purser Bow just kills the Fen Lurker. Like, Burglar does nothing, though. We do have decent attacks, though. Like, even if they block here, like... I think we might just attack anyway. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, we're just taking Elemental and Spectral Sailor. And if we hit a land here... One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight... And we're going to six. Yeah, this is actually fine. Island? Blue card. Tiger Lily, have a good afternoon, buddy. Have a good night. Really appreciate you hanging out. This is where a card like Blade Brand would be just great. Okay. Sounds good. Hmm. Fine by me. All right, so we're going to take five. Oh, they didn't attack with their... They're at 26. What's going on? Seems good. That that worked out all right. Oh, they're getting a little sandy back. So they could double block here. I don't love it, but I do like getting rid of the spirit. I don't think we need to, though. We can just deal two and play Spectral Boreal Elemental. And they're in top deck mode. I feel like we're in good shape here. They have one angel left in their deck, presumably. So we can actually play this, uh, four, five, six, we're one, we're actually one shy. Planes, sure. Uh, we're not going to play Sorcerer because we want to be able to pump this guy if they choose to attack with Spirit and shoot it. Uh, we can also play Spectral Sailor and one, two, three, four, five. If we draw a land, we can draw two cards, which is, I think, good enough. I see. Well, that was a good top deck, I guess. Yep. Mm 
Yep. I mean, we're assuming you're going to kill this dude. So let's just draw another card. And we'll block with this hardy gentleman. And then they'll play another Fathom Fleet. Nope, okay. Well, this guy drew us two cards. I'm okay with it. They also have a little bit less time than we do. It's game two or game three? This game three? I actually don't know what game this is. It's actually not bad. So one, two, three. You can stay home. It feels like this tick this has been way too much time for a game two. Five. We have nine, so we're going to play Warden and Pump, because that's the best use of mana. And by Pump, I mean activate this guy, because this deals an extra two damage for six. Mm -hmm. Is this another... Uh, yep. Warden of Evos. Well, I'm going to assume you have Dire Fleet, so I'm just going to block here. Force you to just play the Dire Thief as a 3-3 three, three, or have nothing on board, so. Okay, get back Skeleton. land another warden uh, so we got three and six again sure can we actually what does this do one two this is six damage either way so one two three four five six seven yeah, I think this is fine. Oh, we actually, do we miscount? No, we, we needed 10, right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we're one mana shy. Ash Lizzle, thank you so much for the host. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Welcome, welcome for uh, those just joining us. I think we're actually in the last turn of the game, unfortunately, so. Oof. Well, paying two life is not ideal here. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be, uh... oh, let's just activate you in response. All good games, you back. I think we did win a game. I think this is a game three. Is this a trophy? Are we trophying right now? Oh, man. Look at it. Look at it. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, on uh, manatraders.com and coolstuffinc.com. You can find all the links in the description below. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube. Head over to Twitch if you guys are watching on YouTube and uh, definitely use those Twitch Prime subs. They are great ways to support the stream for free. Really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.